I have a new, I, I'm starting a new, t- I'm starting a new series and I'm beyond excited. Okay. Um, and I'm going to call it, um, wait, I don't, I can't fucking think of a name right now. I tried for a solid three minutes, but either way, it's all about my YouTube comment section. Okay. So the tea is the following. I made a video. Okay. I'm going to show you a first clip about it. Okay. I'm going to roll the clip. Then I will show you the comment. Shit me not. I cannot. Just watch. Is being black trendy now? Is that what this is? Because it's might be considered. What? So I stitched this video. Okay. Of the Karen saying that uh, black history month might be, you know, a whole month. Oh my God. What y'all have all black colleges, all black funding, blah, 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 blah. then the BET without 30 seconds of Google, because you would have known that the BET is no longer black owned, but that's besides the point. Yeah. So she was just ranting about how one month to celebrate one's history is enough. Mind you, mind you, she did not complain about Irish history month about Italian History Month, about German American History Month. She didn't complain about those ones, okay? Just for the record, okay? She complained about Black, about black History Month. And just a rest- historical rundown as to why. Because black people uh, flourishing under a system of white supremacy has always been a threat to us. We are intimidated and scared because we're like, oh, all these things we've done to black people and they are still here, they are still shining, they are still flourishing. Black women are the most educated group in America, it's scary. When you know you don't even have a tenth of the, comp- uh, the potential. Potential is the word I was looking for. When you don't even have a tenth of the potential that the person that lives under oppression has, you're scared. Clearly. That's why Black History Month is a problem too. Okay? But that's besides the point. Let me show you the comments. We are starting off strong. Strong. One month is a bit excessive, don't you think? The only thing I had in, the the only thing I could think of, because, (laughs) and I think the only appropriate answer here is actually fuck you, but I just said, are you with your senses at all? Because how? Is one month also excessive to celebrate Irish American history, Italian American history, American, German American history, or is it only excessive when it's black history? Okay. we, st- we started off strong, but it's getting better. Trust me. A whole damn month to celebrate someone's skin color and a day for the people that fought and died for this country. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how to break it to you. But this country, referring to the US, uh, was built on black people, by black people. Yeah. Uh, The country was founded and it took them another 89 years to abolish slavery. So when you talk about fought and died for this country, it looks, it sounds so, almost like you're talking about heroes. But you're literally talking about uh, the military that has been killing, unaliving, murdering innocent civilians all about, all around the globe. Um, Should we take a look at army bases all around the world? Do you really want to go there? Like, do you really want to go there? Because I will. I will. will. If you want to go down that rabbit hole, let's go. Let's fucking go. Killed and fought for this country. It might just be me, but this looks like occupation to me. Like I said, it might just be me. (laughs) Also, when you're referring to killed and fought for this country, are you talking about people that willingly went to the military and knew right from the beginning that they were going to kill and murder and, um, you know, slaughter innocent civilians in Iraq, Afghanistan, wherever, uh, for their country? Because they didn't have to fight and kill for their country if their country, you know, wasn't occupying parts of lands that they should not be occupying. We all know what happens when America wants to bring democracy and peace, you know. Whole countries are being uh, put down to ashes. Ashes to ashes, if you get it. And also, like, what the fuck do you mean by a whole month to celebrate somebody's skin color? The existence of black people under white supremacy is resistance. I don't know if you cannot get that. If you're resisting and existing and flourishing under a system of white supremacy that was built on the back of your ancestors, you are resilient. You are flourishing. 
And that's what every day. Celebration every single day. And why are y'all so fucking pressed with Black History Month, but not with Irish History Month? I, I can't fucking say that enough. Like, I did not see this fucking ass comments from somebody about, no, why do the Irish get to celebrate their history for one whole month? Why do the Germans get to celebrate their history for one whole month? But lo and behold, black people come together and celebrate themselves. Your ass is threatened. Just say that. Just say you are, ex you, you, you are jealous of black excellence. You, are, you feel threatened about black people flourishing. Just say that and go your fucking way. Thank you. But yeah... The second woman seemed the most ignorant to me, referring to me. I mean, okay, it's whatever. Your mom, though. You'd better off admitting it. She had way more privilege than the first woman. Babe, where the fuck did I ever, 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 ever deny having privilege? But comparing me to a white American, pfft, that's, that's a lot, babe. That's, that's a lot. Because we are on the same scale. Globally, socially, hierarchy. Financially, economically, we are on the same scale. A white cracker in the US is a white cracker in Germany and vice versa. So I don't fucking get this, okay? But I guess you must have a thought process behind it. It was bullshit though. It was bullshit, but you did it. So congrats. And then the one that took me off, and I beg your pardon, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that word, so I'm just going to say P. Is that a white woman speaking a pretended, pretend, pretend? I mean, English is probably not your first language, just like mine, by the way, uh, P. Um, so I don't really have much exposure other than social media to African-American cultures or to island cultures. But what the fuck I know is that Jamaican P does... <laughs> me and Jamaican P is like... I don't, <laughs> It has like literally nothing in common. Like you can literally, the funny thing is the time you used to type this bullshit ass comment, by the way, that was my response. Okay. You should have put P, uh, this word here in the search bar in YouTube and you would have heard the way it's spoken and you would have known that that has nothing to do with the way I speak. But okay, it's fine if you've never heard it. And if you have no idea where to place my accent to, that's fine too. English is not my first language. Okay? So, that being said, maybe you also lack exposure. Just like me, that's fine. We can admit that together. Uh, but that, that was wild. Unfortunately, I'm starting this series quite late. Because I've been on YouTube for three years now or something like that. And if I tell you, I could write a book about YouTube comments. There was a time, for some funny reason, one of my videos <clears throat> was taken from my YouTube and shared in a white supremacist group in Facebook. And um, trust the over 40 Facebook users, oh, they took it serious. Um, for some funny reason, they hacked my IP. Um, they told me pretty closely where I was living to that, during that time. So uh, I've seen a lot on YouTube. So there is really nothing you can say that will shock me. But that's besides the point. Um, I'm just going to be queen to do this because y'all don't even deserve, under normal circumstances, uh, a proper answer. <laughs> because, babe, I mean, before you type this comment... You could have taken that 30 seconds of your life and done some actual research, then you won't need to embarrass yourself like that. But since you chose to come to my space that I pay the data for with my phone, you contribute nothing to my YouTube channel. I will be uh, representing you guys accordingly. I'll give you the stage you want because you so desperately asked for it. If you don't get attention from your mama in real life, just say that, babe. You're safe here, okay? You will get the attention you don't get in real life. At least the 10 minutes of it. So I hope you're better now. And thanks so much for me being able to create content with your nonsense. Mwah. <laughs>